Beloved Christians, things are moving rapidly in our country and in the whole world with regards to the coronavirus. I wanted to leave some more thoughts with you, particularly now that we are reaching the midpoint of Great Lent with the worship of the Precious Cross. All week long in the services of the Theodion, we've been praying to be deemed worthy to worship the Cross this Sunday. Unfortunately, a lot of people won't be able to get to church this Sunday. Churches are closed, gatherings are forbidden. By the grace of God, our Holy Eparchial Synod convened via telephone conference call, and we decided to write an encyclical, so you should be seeing an encyclical with some directives and thoughts coming from your hierarchs. But I wanted to let you know that the cross is a weapon for the Christians. The cross is a symbol of victory. The cross is a symbol of victory over death. On August 1st, August 14th with the civil calendar, we celebrate a feast called the Procession of the Cross. In Constantinople, every year on this day, the cross would be processed around the whole city because of certain sicknesses and viruses which would plague the city at that time of year. And many miracles would be worked because of the power of the Holy Cross. Throughout the history of the Church, whenever there would be epidemics, there would be processions with holy icons and particularly holy relics. And many times the mercy of the Lord would come, would come down upon the people of God. But since we are in these difficult circumstances right now, and since many people won't be able to go to church, it certainly doesn't mean that we should just stay home and not say our prayers. In fact, we should take the Holy Cross, our precious weapon, which every Christian should have in their home, and venerate it. We should process around our homes with it, inside, even outside if it's permitted. We should understand the power of the cross, and we should seriously have hope in our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's remember <laughs> that our Lord is watching us. This is the period of Great Lent, the period of repentance. Christians understand their faith to be the faith of repentance. The Holy Fathers tell us that to fall is human, but to remain fallen is demonic. They tell us that in that day, when we will be judged, we will not be judged because of our sins, but we will be judged because we have not repented for our sins. And that's a very specific message. It means that we're all sinners. We all carry the sin of Adam, the parasite of sin in us, whether in word or deed or thought. Some people think that sin is just a deed, but we sin very often with our mouths, and even more so with our thoughts. The time of repentance, then, is this time, but especially this year, because plagues come upon us because of our sins. We have a lot of wake-up calls, and in our encyclical we specifically talk about that. I urge you all to read that. Please say your prayers at home if you can't get to church. Read your Akathis. And I'd like to tell the faithful that it would be a good idea for all of us, being so far distant from one another physically, but spiritually, we can come a lot closer if we join our forces together, meaning our prayers. Every night at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Let's all say our prayers. Let's remember how the Ninevites repented. And let's remember why they repented at the preaching of Jonas. At that particular time, we can all join our prayers. We could be reading Akathis. We could be reading the Canon of Repentance. We can be saying prayer ropes. But we can certainly hope for the mercy of God. This is what we are aiming at, attracting the mercy of God. 
Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. We read and we chant in the services of the church. So at this midpoint, let us be courageous. Let us find strength in the Holy Cross. And let us do our duties as Orthodox Christians. Prayer, fasting, repentance. The last thing that I can think of is I'm remembering the miracle which took place a few years ago, the undeniable miracle of a young lady who worked in the Greek army, who was in a helicopter crash, Vasiliki Plexida. And there were five people in the helicopter. She was the one that was saved. The Mother of God told her that I am working this miracle to encourage the faithful for the upcoming events. To get into the details of the miracle right now uh, is not possible, but the miracle was in all the Greek news for days and weeks, and over and over, even for months, reports. Let us take the message of the Mother of God seriously. Let us remember that the Lord is with us. And if the Lord is with us, who can be against us? The Lord is with us, though, if we are Orthodox Christians, if we repent for our sins, and if we call upon the mercy of God, let us not be foolish. Let us understand that the time is passing. This is something which we need to remind ourselves all the time. We have one chance in this life to make ends meet, to be connected with our Lord. May our Lord grant unto us to complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, and may He grant unto us a Christian ending to our lives. Please, hold on to your Holy Cross, and may the Lord grant unto us all grace from above by the power of the Holy Cross. God bless you all.